Today we're checking out one of Florida's most vibrant and unique neighborhoods in Miami's Little Havana. Today we'll be exploring some of Little Havana's culture, the history, some awesome food and drinks, and some things you might not have expected. It wasn't until the early 1960s that this neighborhood just west of downtown Miami became known as Pequeña Havana, or Little Havana. During that time, many Cubans came to Miami from Cuba because of Castro's takeover of the island and communism. And when all these Cubans came to Florida, they brought their recipes and their delicious foods. This is Versailles, arguably one of the most famous Cuban restaurants in the world. Versailles, family owned and operated, is now celebrating its 50th anniversary. In 1971, Versailles opened its doors to homesick Cubans that wanted a delicious taste of home at an affordable price, and not much has changed. Next, I'm taking you for some dancing and drinks at Miami's oldest bar, Ball and Chain. Originally opened in 1935, Ball and Chain was famous for hosting famous jazz acts of the day like Billy Holiday, Count Basie, Chet Baker. It was also notorious for being a gambling hall and sometimes a striptease hall where they would host amateur striptease nights, which wasn't very popular with the conservative crowd in Miami at the time. One of Ball and Chain's most notorious owners, Henry Scheitman, who was known for selling stolen booze and bootleg cigarettes and dealing with gangsters like Meyer Lansky, was convinced by his sons to bring popular jazz acts of the day to his club Ball and Chain. Today, almost 90 years later, Ball and Chain stands as a Miami institution and an awesome place for live music and an expertly crafted cocktail. This is our next stop on our tour of Little Havana, Café La Trova. Café La Trova is voted as one of the best bars in the world, actually sitting at number 28. Café La Trova gets its name Trova from the type of music that comes from a special region in Cuba. This concept was created by world famous bartender Julio Cabrera. This is his son Andy Cabrera, third generation Cantonero. Cantoneros are skilled technicians behind the bar. But it's not just about the cocktails. The kitchen's helmed up by James Beard Award winning chef and co owner Michelle Bernstein. Michelle Bernstein and Julio Cabrera have created a world-class destination right in the heart of Little Havana, right on Calle Ocho, where the art of cocktail making and chef-driven cuisine are on full display. And you might not know this, but in the back of Capilla Trova is this really nice patio area, ideal for smoking a cigar or having a more intimate conversation with friends. Here's another surprise you might not know about. Cafe La Trova activates their 305 80s bar on Fridays and Saturday nights, celebrating Miami's most iconic decade by playing all the hits from the 80s and Miami freestyle music. This is the next spot I'm taking us to on our tour of Little Havana, Taras, a really laid back, chill rooftop spot just a couple blocks over from Calle Ocho. Taras has beautiful views, awesome drinks, live music, a lush and natural environment, and an awesome menu filled with healthy Latin American and Caribbean favorites, and some of the best vistas of Miami that you can find with a super laid back, not pretentious attitude. This is one of my favorite rooftop bars in Miami, so come and try it for yourself and join us for our next Florida adventure.